Good evening and welcome to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza in Cary, North Carolina. We are going to go ahead and jump right into things here. Uh, 21-16 uh, heartbreaker lost to Garner this week or this past week. Uh, we did overcome a 21-7 deficit though, Coach. Um, after, the, after the game you said uh, it was the most fun you've ever had coaching a football game in your entire life. Uh, what made the game so enjoyable for you? Well, first off, we never want to lose. Um, but I thought the effort, the heart that our kids showed, the way they tried to fight back. Um, you know, we had a deficit, but on the sideline, our kids wanted to keep playing. Not to try to win a game, but to win the next play. And I, I was really proud of the way they worked. I thought we had great leadership from guys that were seniors, juniors, sophomore, freshmen. Uh, they all played and had a big role in it. And I thought our coaches did a heck of a job of continuing to battle and, and, and fight through adversity. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into some of the highlights uh, so we can take a look at some of those, those players that were pressed into duty. Um, the first play here is going to be Tom on a tackle for a loss. Uh, if you look at our defense right here, we're actually misaligned, but Tom is up top. We get a, got to stop his feet in the backfield, which is obviously a great thing, and Tom finishes it off for a tackle for a loss, and he'll actually be speaking later on maybe about that play. Uh, if you go to the tight copy here and you watch on this version of it, watch our defense pursuit of the football. I thought that was something that was a great showing by our defense. It helped in the team effort. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get 11 hats to the football, and you can see them all flying as fast as they can. Uh, the next one we have here, um, I wish we could have seen some more of this before Brant went out, but this is Brant throwing to Jay Shore here. Uh, catches it off a tip, and we go for a 91-yard touchdown. You look on the bottom of the screen, their number four can fly. The Jay is not <laughs> slow. But uh, it's a heck of a job by a couple people. Our offensive line, Brant steps up. Jay has great concentration. But Keon, Keon Smith is the outside receiver. And he has a five slant, and he sells it, and he comes 100 miles an hour. Uh, he possibly can get the ball if he's open, but he comes off the ball that hard. It creates some confusion in her secondary, and let's just have a 91-yard touchdown. So does Brant know he's going in going that direction before the snap, or is that a decision that he makes? He is. He makes a good read on the play. Um, he knows you know, what the route is, obviously, and, and he sees it develop and makes a good throw. Uh, the third one here, this is a sack by King Kiaku. Um, <laughs> if you watch King, he gets excited. Uh, he always <laughs> does. But it's a great job by our, our inside defensive tackle of making sure he crosses face to get the offense tackle to step down. Uh, if you look behind it in this version right here, you can see we have great coverage. We roll proper angles. Uh, he, you know, even if he had to turn around and hold it for a second, we'd be in position to make a play. And that was a big, that was a big play because the quarterback had some nice throws there. So to get a hit on him like that is pretty he, big. He did. We didn't necessarily have the best, uh, <laughs> best coverage at all times the other night. Um, the play's already started here. This is Keon. Uh, again, he blocks a punt. We, we practice blocking a punt nearly every day over the summer. Uh, we focus on it every other day during the season. Our goal is to block punts. And Keon comes here. He blocks it. You see guys pursuing right here. If you look, you have four guys trying to block for him to make sure we get in the end zone. That's Isaiah Herring, a sophomore who last year actually blocked a lot of kicks on the JV. So he's out there for a reason. And he comes off the ball hard and helps Keon actually block it. Um, the last play here, look to the left. Jay's in the pocket. He gets flushed out. Deontay McDonald comes and makes a block right there Ooh. in the corner of the screen. Um, now, we don't like him taunting right there. We don't want to see a kid get hurt. But the beautiful part about that play is I've heard for weeks, what are you going to do without Curtis? Love Curtis, but Deontay's the one playing, and he made three blocks like this throughout that game. These are effort plays. Um, you watch. He comes back, makes a block, gets four more yards in a game where you're battling to get every yard, and we were really impressed to see that. And right there, he's got to get lined back up and get ready to go. But uh, to add about the game, you know, I heard a great comment one of, the, uh, one of the teachers came to me and said, I went to Quadir and said, Quadir Ford, said, how did you play? Man, I played great. He said, well, what were your stats? And he said, what do you mean, what are my stats? How many catches? How many carries? Not one. I did a great job blocking for my teammates. Nice. So Quadir, Deontay, uh, Keon, those guys did a heck of a job uh, throughout the game, giving us an opportunity to play. You know, everybody says Jay had a good game. Um, Stewie had a good game. No, those guys helped them have a good game. Right. Well, this, uh, this game seemed to have it all um, from your team, the good and the bad. Uh, we saw the, the block punt there. We all um, 
Um, and then we also had a couple of fumbles on offense. What are some of the, the pluses and uh, minuses you, you took away from that first game? Well, the plus is this. Um, we talk close ranks, keep marching. It's one of our sayings. If somebody goes down, everybody goes through practice. Next guy's got to step up. And we had a lot of guys step up. I looked out one time, we had a freshman nose guard. His brother's playing defensive tackle who hadn't played <laughs> in a year. Uh, we had two linebackers that on a depth chart going into the game were fourth and fifth. We had a sophomore free safety in his first ever varsity experience on defense, and we get a three and out. Right. Um, that's a positive. You look, huge, on, yeah. you look on offense, our JV starting nose guard is the second leading rusher in the conference after the first game, and that's Stuart Fine, who going into the game was second, third on depth chart, but literally in the middle of the summer, um, he said, can I try out running back? I said, yeah, go have fun. We thought he'd, he'd do it for a day or two. Right. He ran for 103 yards the other night. So. Yeah, he – I notice he, he, he'll put his head down and, and hit the hole hard and, and keep going forward. He's a tough kid. Um, yeah, we have a lot of tough kids who are just fun to be around. They, they love the game of football. They want to be pushed. They want to work hard. They want to get better. Um, I know we were talking a couple weeks ago, you know, Stewie was probably six on the depth chart going into that day. He continually worked, didn't complain, asked questions, got better, made it happen in practice. And it's, it's exciting to see a young man do that. And how nice is, is it to have – you know, the different styles of running back. When you have him come in and he's going to run downhill and then you can bring in other guys that are going to make you miss. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, if we can get Elijah, um, you know, playing again and back healthy, he has a quick burst. There's no doubt about that. Um, Sands has a little more wiggle to him when he plays. Yorick does a good job as well playing corner in there. Uh, and then you look at Stewie, and Stewie's, I mean, you know, we looked at him and I said, you know, if he was five inches tall, we'd be calling him John Riggins. <laughs> and then you go, Josh Strait comes in as a freshman, and he's trying to run somebody over. And then we got Frankie, too, who can play there, and he's, you know, another guy who's a little more quicker. So it's kind of exciting when you see the different guys you have, the styles you have. And, and the main thing is, you know, those guys aren't running the ball replay. We mm -hmm. throw the ball, too, so they're called on to be, you know, in the pass protection. They're there to be for the run game. We run wide to be blockers, and they all do a good job. So, so when uh, Jay went to quarterback, you're not – only losing your quarterback, but you're also losing your receiver, too. Mm -hmm. um, so could you just talk about, um, obviously, he's not taking too many snaps at quarterback in practice. Um, so could you talk about the way he handled the offense uh, being pressed into that? Well, first off, I thought our offensive coaching staff did a phenomenal job. Um, they kept adapting as we went through the game. There was no secret if you were there, we were going to run the football. Um, they had nine guys around the box, and we're moving up and down the football field, out gaining them rushing-wise. And that's impressive. They run a lot. You know, we, we try to be 50-50, and we have to run the whole second half and keep moving it. So I thought that was a great job by our offensive coaches. They did a phenomenal job. Uh, you know, when Jay gets back there, you know, I told the team at halftime, I think my quote was, who do you want to go play quarterback more than a senior who comes every day to workouts, works harder than anybody else on the field, uh, knows the offense in and out? I don't care what position he came from. Uh, but who else would you rather have? And I thought, you know, Jay took great leadership uh, in, in that situation. I mean, he called one time, it's fourth down. We went for it, backed up. And everybody thought it was crazy. And I said, you know, we got to move the ball, flip the field, and, and play the game to win, not lose. But we talked about it on the sideline, and Jay looked over and said, I want the ball. Yeah. We gave it to him, and he got the first down. I mean, um, I thought at that point it was a, it was a good decision because, uh, like you said, the, the offense became a, a very run-oriented offense, so you want to do it on that drive right there. Mm -hmm. So uh, rather than punting it there and trying to have a two-minute off offense take you down the field, um, and that play really, really started that drive rolling, getting it downhill. And then uh, it seemed like after that, averaging five to six yards a carry. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, the guys in there at the end? We, we, you talked about how many young guys were in there um, and, you know, Garner, Garner's defense is good. So how that last drive, uh, how they performed. I think um, since the first time I've been here, they weren't worried about Garner. They were worried about doing their job, and we talk about it all the time. I, I really I said I don't think we mentioned Garner basically all week until the day of the game. We talk about this is what they do, them. And there's always going to be a them when you play a game. Yeah. So I thought the guys on the field, it didn't matter who it was. I thought there was one time at Coach Bordeaux, I said, that guy's going in? He said, Coach, that's the last one I have left. Talking about <laughs> some guys in a certain position. And I went, okay, you know, let's go. And that guy went out there, made a play, and we get a first down. And that's, that's what the game of football is about. We use the term all the time, you know, you eat pregame meal too. Earn it. And, that, and, and you go through practice. Show it. You know, and everybody eats pregame meal. Everybody goes through practice. If you get a chance, take advantage of it.
So the defense really slowed down uh, Garner's offense there in the second half, um, especially the, some of the deep throws to the outside that hurt us a little bit in the first half. Um, were those uh, you know, defensive adjustments that were made, or was that just a case of guys really stepping up and, and adjusting to those routes? Well, they got one guy um, twice on a deep ball, and both times I think Coach Williams, if he's here from work yet, said uh, you were running down the sideline yelling at him, get, get your eyes out of the backfield. Um, and he's a guy that actually was at Garner and got somehow placed out of there due to seats, and he felt, you know, really hyped up for the game and tried to do too much. And I think once we kind of got through the game and realized that, you know, hey, they're just football players too. You know, the name on jersey doesn't matter. You know, it's how you play. I think we settled in. I think our guys executed the scheme. Um, schemes are great, man. Coaches are genius. Your kids have got to do it. Mm -hmm. No matter what school you're at and what you draw up, the kids have got to buy in. And our kids bought in. And literally during the fourth quarter, I, I didn't look at the scoreboard. I said to our coaches on the headset, man, I wish we could play all night. Having a lot of fun coaching <laughs> defense right now. And it was. Yeah. Well, Coach, before, before we let you go out of here, um, just tell us a little bit about this honorary coach of the week that you were talking to us a little bit about. Okay, uh, hopefully she can hear me. Is Miss Wiggins here? Miss Wiggins, stand on up. Okay. <laughs> Miss Wiggins is our honorary coach of the year. It's the first of this season. Uh, she's walking up here real quick. Come on up. Come on up. Miss <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wiggins actually teaches math hey, how you doing? at the high school. And um, I, I say this, and I say this in a very passionate way. My grandmother was my role model. And I said, I wish my grandmother could be her these days because she cares about everybody, every sport. There's days on a Friday before we go on the field, and she's le literally leaving her classroom, walking out to the game field on a Friday because she worked all day. So we talked about it as a staff, and we said, man, next season comes. When we start this back, the first person we want to have is Miss Wiggins. We're, we're lucky to have her, and what she'll do with us is be here tonight. Um, and then on Friday, she'll actually meet the team right after school go through pregame meal, go through walkthroughs. Um, unfortunately, she'll be on the sideline with us when we're acting like idiots. She'll do the <laughs> coin flip and all that good stuff and be in a team huddle. So please give it up for Mr. Wiggins one more time, and we're glad she'll be our honorary coach of the week. You're watching the Sports Block live from Ruckus Pizza uh, for the Middle Creek Coaches Show. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Ruckus was started 11 years ago in Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. It is a ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs. Wednesday trivia nights, uh, there's just always something going on here. That's my favorite part of it. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. Our menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bag or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24 inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And all right, enough about crust. the big pizza, seriously. I, I sometimes still get a little bit long-winded and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Ruckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open until 2 a.m. so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they Welcome back to Ruckus Pizza. This is the Middle Creek Coaches Show, and this is the Sports Block. Now we are joined by head JV football coach Jeff Ryder. Uh, coach, thank you so much for joining us today, and if you could just start off by telling everyone a little bit about yourself and your coaching philosophy, that would be great. Well, um, I've been at Middle Creek now. This is my sixth year, and uh, I... Um, I'm one of the, I, I am not a full-time employee at the school, so, you know, I really appreciate 
Coach Castellano and, and Principal Martin allow me to, to do what I do uh, with, with these kids. Um, my philosophy is, is no different than Coach Castellano's and the rest of the staff. You know, we just we want to win every day. We want to win every practice. We we want to be one and zero at the end of the day, and and we think that that uh, constitutes victories on Friday night. Well, if you could, coach, can you just speak a little bit about uh, your responsibilities as the the uh, JV coach, please? Well, my responsibilities as the JV coach. Um, you know, when Coach Castellano got here, he um, he like Coach Crocker before him, really puts uh, a lot of emphasis on the JV program. And he, he understands, you know, the work that we're able to give those young guys, again, equates to, to victories on Friday night. So he, he pretty much, uh, you know, gives me the reins for the, for the guys on Thursdays as, as long as I do what he wants me to do. And then <laughs> everybody's good. <laughs> So how is, how's the JV team look this year, and who are, who are some players to watch? Well, um, to answer that question, I will find out Thursday. But as far as how they look, you know, we're, we're going to test a, a new quarterback this year. Um, but, you know, we lost an absolute ton of guys on defense from last year's JV team. Those guys were really good. And, and a lot of those guys are starting on Friday night now. So, um, you know, offensively, uh, I think we should be able to move the ball. You know, guys act like they know what they're doing in practice, but, you know, you never know until you get out there and hike the ball a few times. Yeah. So we'll, we'll find out on Thursday. Well, we were, you were, t we were told that uh, you have a, a huge uh, freshman class. Do you, do you have any, you know, in particular um, expectations for them? Well... We, um, we, we expect them to do well in the class, and, and we expect them to do well on, in the field, and, and we expect them to do well in the community. And, I mean, they're, they're absolutely going to do that, or they, they can't play for a Middle Creek High School. Um, but, yeah, it's the largest freshman class in school history, if I'm not mistaken. I think they capped it um, this year. Um, and I believe we have... I know we have one young man who's been working pretty regularly with the varsity, which, you know, says a lot for some of the, the middle school programs around here. But, yeah. um, man, we're looking forward to Thursday. Uh, we're, we, I'm excited, and uh, we can't wait to get out there. So let's talk about Thursday then. It's going to be a little bit of a road trip, right? Yes, sir. We're, uh, our activity bus is it's nice, but it's not Greyhound, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, we got to go down to, to Fayetteville. It's, you know, probably an hour and a half ride. We're, we're trying to work it out where we can stop somewhere in between, let the kids get off the bus, eat their meal, and stretch right. our legs a little bit so they'll be fresh when we get there. Yeah, so um, how do you feel about E.E. E. Smith, and do you feel like the guy's ready for it? Well, you know, unfortunately, I, I don't know a lot about E.E. E. Smith. I I've, have the luxury of um, scouting most of the teams that we play, and, and I'll usually know – something about them i don't know absolutely nothing <laughs> about them and, and i hope the the situation is the same down there you know we'll we'll find out <laughs> well to, uh, before we let you ju before we let you go um just uh could you give us you know your your hit points or your the things you took away from friday night well i mean i i think that um you know you have to give garner credit uh, I would say in this area, you know, they're probably one of, if not the premier program. And, hey, we had the ball on fourth down, three yards to go. We tied a game. You know, we got, while Jay is, is more than capable of playing quarterback, you know, we take one of our best receivers out of his position. We're already down you know, uh, a, a pretty good receiver in Curtis. And I'm not making excuses for us. Uh, you know, we got guys that will battle. And I always echo what Coach Castellano said. It was fun, and, and I've never been more proud of a, of a group of young men. Well, we want to thank you for your time, Coach. If you have any questions for any of the coaches here on the Coach Show, please um, tweet your question uh, to the sports block. 
um, at hashtag sports block answers and we'll try to get the question to the coach you are watching the sports block live at ruckus pizza here in Cary. Um, don't go anywhere we'll be right back thanks guys ruckus was started 11 years ago at mission valley shopping center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza a great bar and a good time It's a ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs, and Wednesday trivia nights. Uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of ruckus. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. Our menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients, and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24-inch pizza with just right on the cheese and sauce. And All right, enough about crust. the big pizza. Seriously, I, I sometimes we'll get a little bit long-winded, and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Ruckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half-price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open until 2 a.m., so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they No highlights of the game, and they put me up there. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome back to Ruckus Pizza. This is the Middle Creek Coaches Show, and this is the Sports Block. Uh, we are now joined by outside linebacker Tom Hortsh uh, Hartshorn. Uh, Tom, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you could just tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Um, uh, I play outside linebacker for Middle Creek. I've been on varsity for three years. Uh, I played inside last year, and, you know, I've been a part of Middle Creek for a long time. How has that uh, transition been for you, going from inside to outside? Uh, it was a little different, you know, different things that you have to work on, you know, habits that you might have to break that, you know, that you do. But, you know, it was pretty smooth. We all similarly do the same thing, and as it linebacker you know what everybody does so nothing really you know changed a lot well the result obviously wasn't what you wanted uh, on Friday but uh, the defense was able to do some things in the fourth quarter to keep the, the the game close can you talk a little bit about you know the defense's effort on uh, on Friday you know coach put together a great scheme for Garner as for defense and you know, we, we strive ourselves uh, for defense to execute uh, what he calls. And, you know, we, we realized that, you know, we're down a couple players and defense needed to step up. So, you know, we, we really wanted to do the best that we could as a defense to, you know, help our team win. So, you know, it was just a lot of senior leadership and just trying to get the ball game to go our way. So Garner's, you know, a power running team. Um, and nowadays, uh, you don't you don't always see that with and with high school. A lot of teams switch you know switching to spread offenses. So how did you like playing against that power style of offense? They love to run sweeps and and powers to the outside. So how did you like that? You know, I mean, Garner. You know, everybody's always feared about. But you know, if you put a good scheme together like we did, you know, I mean, I mean, I, you know, it's enjoyable. You know, you you keep. Uh, you know, playing well and like we did, you know, it, it, it gets fun and you just keep going to what, how we were playing. You know, it's enjoyable to play out there and, you know, playing different types of offenses is always interesting because, you know, you get to do different things you might not always be, get to do every week. You know, now with uh, one game in, in the books, what, uh, what have you learned about your, you know, maybe yourself or this team as a whole that maybe you didn't know before uh, going into the season? You know, one thing that, you know, this team especially has is, you know, we're, you know, we went down most players I've seen in the years I've played. And, 
you know, we didn't miss a beat. We were able to keep going, you know, offense, you know, lost our quarterback, you know, defense lost a couple players, but, you know, people kept filling in and, you know, be able to battle through adversity and keep going and make the game close and, you know, a minute away from winning it. So, you know, it's, it's really, you know, we always say we're a family. So, you know, this team, as I know, is week one. You know, we're, we're a family. So, Tom, would you, if you had a choice, would you rather blitz the quarterback and have a free shot, or would you rather have a shot at a wide receiver running a slant route right towards you? You know, I would love to just hit a quarterback. You know, <laughs> quarterbacks always get the special treatment, and, you know, hitting a quarterback is just so much more interesting than hitting a receiver. You know, hit receivers get hit all the time, but a quarterback, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it's very enjoyable. That's a good answer. So uh, one final question before we let you go. What's, uh, what exactly is the, you know, the attitude from the team or in the locker room you know, after the loss and you know, heading into next week being at home? You know, obviously, you know, a loss is always frustrating. And you know, we were a little down. But you know, it wasn't like a usual loss. You know, we, we know, you know we, if we were full strength or had we you know, done little things better, you know, it could have been different. But you know, we could definitely see how you know things could have been better and you know knowing that i mean it's just one game you know we just got to strive to get better and i mean it was frustrating at first but i mean monday new week we started out i mean everybody was fine nobody was you know upset and you know we were set and ready to go for the e smith friday all right well good luck on friday once again you're watching the sports block live from ruckus pizza for the middle creek coaches show don't go anywhere we'll be right back Okay. Ruckus was started 11 years ago in Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. It is a ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs. Wednesday trivia nights, uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of it. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. Our menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bag or frozen or pre-made, it's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24 inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And all right, enough about crust. the big pizza, seriously. I, I sometimes they'll get a little bit long-winded and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Ruckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open until 2 a.m. so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they Sounds good. What's what? <laughs> Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block, live from Ruckus Pizza and Cary. We n are now joined by head varsity uh, volleyball coach, Danielle Martzov. Uh, coach, thank you for joining us today. Oh, no problem. Uh, if you could start off by telling everyone a little bit about yourself and your coaching philosophy. Well, um, this is my second year technically at Middle Creek High School. My first year as the volleyball coach, though, I also coached JV softball at Middle Creek. Um, originally from Buffalo, New York, so I'm happy to be down at the South and d <laughs> coaching and teaching. Yeah, so how does how the volleyball team look this year? This year, we have the potential to be awesome. We um, have a lot of very good players that have been playing together for a, g a couple years now, and we have some new freshmen coming up who really adds to our team. So we have the potential to be a really good team in our conference. 
Well, you did mention that uh, you also coach uh, the softball team as well. How has it been juggling those two sports so far? It takes a lot of time management and a lot of help. Um, our varsity coach, Robbie Ray, is, is the man, and he, he helps me um, juggle both of them. And I have an awesome JV coach for volleyball who also, um, when I'm not there, she is definitely someone who I can trust and count on. So how does the conference look as a whole? And who are the teams to watch out for? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, considering that I'm brand new, I don't exactly know how the conference is. <laughs> so, but I kind of take that as um, kind of a good thing just because I prepare them to, the, for, to be the best. And um, if we'll see as the season goes. So, so how do you um, prepare your players for the next level, especially if, if they want to play collegiate volleyball? Oh, yeah. I, um, myself, I've played uh, Division II volleyball, so I know what it takes in any sort of division. And um, we practice a lot, and we practice hard, and the girls really work hard, and I try and instill what, what they could come to in the future. So. Yeah. You know, and what are the, what are the things that, uh, you know, we, uh, Ryan kind of asked us a second ago, what are kind of the things that you try to coach and instill in your players to make sure they're um, successful people on and off the court and field? Yeah, well, every day we do um, a thought of the day, and I try and focus something on whether it's how to be a student athlete, how to carry themselves in the school. Um, maybe one time, one practice, we weren't working as hard, so the next day the thought of the day was intensity. So it kind of just goes as the season goes, and I try and just pick one topic of uh, practice, and we really focus on that. All right, and if you could, one last thing. Um, there is a young lady uh, coming, up, uh, coming up after you. If you could just speak a word or two about that, uh, about uh, the woman coming up after you. Yeah, my girl Katie McCullough. She um, is awesome. She works, she's one of the hardest workers that I've seen in the game of volleyball. And when I sat with the girls, we had a tournament, and I sat with them and I said, what do you guys want to do like, when you go to college? And this girl straight up said, I'm playing professional volleyball. So she is in love with the sport. She shows it on and off the court. She's a great kid, and she's really going to help us the whole way. Well, thanks again, Coach, for your time. Thank Once you. Once again, you're watching the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block, broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thanks. Ruckus was started 11 years ago in Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. It's a ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs, and Wednesday trivia nights. Uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of ruckus. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. The menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients, and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24-inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And All right, enough about crust. the big pizza, seriously. I, I sometimes they'll get a little bit long-winded, and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Ruckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids' specials, uh, half-price uh, kids' meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open until 2 a.m., so the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block, broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza and Cary. We are now joined by varsity uh, volleyball player. She's an outside hitter, Katie McCullough. Uh, Katie, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, could you start off by just telling everyone a little bit about yourself? Um, well, <laughs> besides school, I, I play volleyball, of course, and I play... Sand volleyball too, so it's a lot of volleyball and so and I also play soccer, so 
It's a lot of sports for me, mainly. So how do you juggle all that? Um, it, well, I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> they conflict a lot, but I love both of them, so I can do it. <laughs> and uh, as, as an out, outside hitter, uh, tell us a little bit about what that means and what your responsibilities are. Um, as an outside hitter, I, we kind of have to help everyone out on the court. If there's like a bad play or something, normally it comes to an outside hitter and our job is to keep it in play or to finish a play to help out the team the best we can. All those different uh, types of volleyball, how do you, what do you do to you know, prepare yourself and get yourself ready for the, you know, whatever you're playing, whether it be on the sand or in the court? Um, most of the time to get ready, I just have to mentally prepare myself and my teammates and make sure everyone's ready. And then, of course, we like to listen to music to pump us up. So we talked to your coach, and she, she spoke really brightly about the team this year. So what do you expect out of this year's team? This season looks really good so far. And to start out with that, a great heritage win really put us up to the top. And now everyone knows we're going to be competition this year. And we, I think we're really going to pull together this year and have a great season. All right, and last but not least, what, uh, what is uh, you know, the, your best moment you've had so far as a part of this uh, volleyball team? I think the best moment was the final Heritage game on that final point, seeing everyone come together to finish it out and work together and seeing how excited everyone was. Just to feel the team finally having that much energy and being that much of a team was really great. Well, can I got one more question. Could you, could you speak on how close you guys are as a team as they all just stand here? <laughs> and watch you answer? Uh, we're really close. Uh, pretty much a family, obviously. They're not going to leave me alone. So. Yeah. We're a lot closer than the past teams have been. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You did good. <laughs> Once again, you're watching the Middle Creek Coaches Show live from Ruckus Pizza. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. This was started 11 years ago at Mission Valley Shopping Center as a couple of college guys that wanted to have great pizza, a great bar, and a good time. It is a ruckus. It's a good time. We've got live music four or five nights a week. And you know, my favorite's the food, though. Your favorite's the food? Yeah. I, I think it's the staff. Big TVs, great TVs. Wednesday trivia nights, uh, there's just always something going on here. It's my favorite part of it. Yeah, I, that's, that's a good point. I mean, anytime you show up, there's always some different event. Our menu is very varied. We have great hamburgers, great pizza, great pasta, great sandwiches, great salads. Uh, it's a very broad menu that, that has a great price point for today's time. It's all homemade food, which I think is one thing that sets us apart. We get nothing in bagged or frozen or pre-made. It's all made in-house from scratch ingredients and it's the best stuff we can buy. We're famous for our New York style pizza. It's a huge 24 inch pizza with just right amount of cheese and sauce. And all right, enough about crust. the big pizza, seriously. I, I sometimes we'll get a little bit long-winded and this is a perfect fit for, for taking care of that. It's uh, great pizza. <laughs> Luckus is the perfect uh, restaurant for families and, and children. Uh, great kids specials, uh, half-price uh, kids meals on Monday and Tuesday night. And we're open until 2 a.m. So the ones that don't have kids can come out and stay as late as they Welcome back to the Middle Creek Coaches Show. This is the Sports Block, broadcasting live from Ruckus Pizza and Cary. We are joined by head coach Mike Castellano once again for our final segment of the night. Um, coach, this Friday, the home opener against E.E. Uh, e. Smith. Um, this is a pretty talented team. Uh, they squeezed out a 35-34 win over Terry Sanford uh, in week one. How do you feel about this week's matchup? Um, they're a good football team. They run, <laughs> they run fast, and they're athletic. Um, the funny part about our schedule, and we didn't talk about week two. We worry about one week at a time. Uh, but we start off with two teams that went a combined 22-0 last year during the regular season. 
Uh, we wanted good teams to play against. All I kept hearing for years was, you know, Raleigh football is not very good. Uh, Charlotte football and Fayetteville football is pretty good. So we're going to get a chance to find a team, uh, play against a team who went 11-0 out of Fayetteville last year. So we look forward to it. They're, they've got some D-linemen that can play football. Um, they've got a quarterback with a lot of speed. They've got a tall receiver they throw it up to. They've got a running back. That's a good football player who can run. So we're excited for the challenge. All right, and this, uh, this is from uh, Twitter, um, from at Lauren underscore Tay. What do you do to help your team recuperate after a loss? Well, uh, <laughs> first thing we all have to do is kind of take a deep breath and realize uh, we, uh, we love football. It's our passion. It's what we do. We tell our guys all the time, you got to love it to go through what we do. But on the other hand, you got to realize it's just a football game. Um, so you're going to have an opportunity to play another one, hopefully, and, and you focus on the next one. If you live by the mantra of being 1-0, which we tried to, okay, you lost that day, all you can do is be 1-0 the next day. And we, we focus on that and try to focus on the positives, correct the negatives. What are the, uh, what are the benefits of you know, playing at home, especially after a, a tough uh, opening loss? Um, well, we always like to play at home. Um, it means that we get home a little earlier, get our film started a little earlier. Um, you don't have to travel, get our buses lined up and all that kind of stuff. But uh, now, you know, the negative of playing at home for us is our JV team has to travel an hour and a half on Thursday <laughs> and get back in at 12.15 and get into school the next morning. Right. But we, we're excited playing at home. We have a great crowd. Um, you know, we look here and we're averaging 90 to 100 people here every day in person. Uh, our, our cheering section last year, the Creek Crazies, won an award for best in the area. Mm-hmm. Our parents are phenomenal uh, of, of getting there and getting things handled for us through our parents' uh, organization and groups. And our kids, they're going to have a lot of fun, I think, in their new uniforms this week. Yeah, you know, we missed that, uh, mentioning that in the first section, but uh, the road support against Garner, the Creek Crazies, and everyone that came out was a, was a really big and a, and a loud crowd. You know, I, uh, I was blessed and got to coach a little college football, and a lot of my friends when I got here said, well, why am I going to come to a high school game? And I had, I think, 22 of them, if I asked Coach Wilkes to remember, I think slept on our floor and couch and all that <laughs> last year and, uh, for that first game at home, and they, uh, they all said, man, I can't wait to come back. Yeah. And we have a great environment, and our, our guys travel well. Um, you know, we, we're an enticing team to play when it comes to fan support on the road because they make money off our, our fans <laughs> and uh we're excited we're glad to have them uh I, I just i enjoy playing at home personally i enjoy walking through the stadium an hour and five minutes before the game and seeing all the people that sponsor us and shaking everybody's hand that's out there we're really excited and doing those things it's gonna be a lot of fun well you spoke a little bit about uh e smith's um you know record last year uh can you just have you first it's a two-part question first have you uh, watched any film on them and then second you know what do you need to game plan um, for Friday? What do you need to gear up for on Friday? We, we don't watch film. We just call things and then hope they work. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. we started watching film on a Saturday. Um, safe to assume most of our players have all at least watched film with coaches at this point. Um, a lot of them, based on our huddle system, they watch a lot of film. We can actually, they might not know this, but we can see how much film they watch and when they watched it <laughs> or if they just turned it on. But Tom's a great example. Uh, Tom used to come last week. He was a junior. I said, who is this skinny kid? He really thinks he can play a linebacker. And he shows up, and he you know, kind of approached me a little nervous. And he said, Coach, um, I-, I-, I don't know. And he pulled something out of his pocket. I don't know what you saw, but I-, I think this might be right. And I pulled out something I had written, and it was amazing from watching film how we were pretty much the same. Right. Uh, so we start on Saturday and watch it you know, only a couple thousand times and, and do that stuff. <laughs> but uh, now they're, uh, they're a good football team, and what we've got to do is we've got to find a way. It doesn't change a lot. Stop the run. Yeah. Um, we want to make a team throw the ball. We want to be able to call blitzes, stunts, uh, a lot of our different coverages. Uh, you know, Coach Trump and I talk about it every week. We want to get to the point where we have fun, and yeah. that's, that's third down and long. If we can stop the run first and second down, put them behind the chains, it fits into what we want to do, which is now Coach Wilkes' baby, getting that special teams out there, blocking punts, changing field position, and letting our kids have fun. Yep. Offensively, we, you know, we want to do the same thing we always do, high tempo, run the ball, uh, you know, spread people out, and hopefully get a chance to complete a couple passes. Mm-hmm. All right, one last, one last um, question uh, before we let you go, Coach. Um, you spoke a little bit on it um, before, but what are some of the benefits of, of playing a tough um, early non-conference schedule um, that prepares you um, for that, uh, that conference schedule late in the year? 
you know, everybody says that. Are you preparing, you know, with tough games and this and that? I, personally, I think every game is tough. You're trying to get 150 people all on the same page going in the same direction. Right. Obviously, great teams prepare you for down the road, but there's going to be some great teams in our conference as well. Uh, you know, Apex won, I believe, 49 nothing the other night, and that's, what I believe, our first conference game. So, <laughs> you know, it doesn't get easier. It, right. it, it'll help us. I think the speed of the game is the main thing. Um, just – Having our guys recognize it's not practice, trying to simulate that and to get out there and play against fast teams that are physical and hopefully it'll carry us through the season. All right. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. Um, you were watching the Sports Block live at Ruckus Pizza, live from Ruckus Pizza. This was the Sports Block. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back next week and every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. We'll see you next time.